It is Sonia. How are ya? Hopefully the lighting is gonna work. I don't have all my stuff yet moved into the new house. Um, and so I try to find the brightest place when I do my vlogs live, which today I decided to do a live vlog because we've been on the road. It's been a busy day and I thought I was gonna do it live and catch up with you guys, tell you about my day and talk to you and tell you uh, some recent great finds that I found. Finds that I found. Because yes, you can pay a ton of money if you want to decorate your house. But me, I am somebody who searches the sales, the clears aisles, and I take pride. Hey, Linda, 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 Danny is on here. Hello. I take pride in finding a good bargain. Michelle, my girl, how are ya? I'm oh, sending lots of hearts back to ya. Life is good. So, um, my sister is coming in. Did you hear me say that yet? I've, I've kind of told a few people. I don't know who I've told at this point. My sister's coming in from Canada on Friday, which is just, you know, like a kid, like a day after tomorrow. I can't wait. I haven't seen her since last summer, and I typically get to see her maybe once a year. Sometimes I've skipped years be in between seeing her, but she's coming down on Friday, and a visit is long overdue. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm going to convince her to come on one of my vlogs with me at least, okay? She's like, I'm not doing that stuff that you do. I, was, I didn't say anything. <laughs> You just wait till you're here. We can discuss that later, okay? So anyway, it's just her coming down. She has uh, four kids, and she's coming down on Friday going back. Hey, Beverly, nice to see you. I was talking to you today. Um, so she's coming down, and it's just herself, which is kind of cool, right? She gets a bit of a break and uh, gets to come down. She's actually coming down to help me clean and just help me with the house, uh, which is very, very kind of her. And right now she has time at her come help your big sister, right? So she's gonna come down and I'm gonna treat her to a wonderful time and take good care of her. But we've, she's gonna help me clean and decorate and paint and all that good stuff, right? So I'll have lots of great content here in the vlog because we won't stop uh, while she's here. I also wanna get uh, junk in and also, she likes to junk too, okay? Fancy that, my sister likes to junk too. And so I told her that when she comes down here, I gotta find some new places here in the new area and so she can be my saw partner, right? Hey, Nancy. And then Matt won't have to be like, you wanna buy what? Why do I have to haul it? I'd just be like, me and Anna got it. Like, you stay home, you know? We got this, we got this. So anyway, I can't wait to go out and do some junkin' and thrifting um, over this weekend. It's gonna be awesome. Hey, Rebecca from North Carolina. It's also North Carolina license plates driving up north here in Pennsylvania today. I think, yeah. Matt used to actually live down in North Carolina when he was in the Marines. Yeah. Yeah, you know, my teenage years in Virginia. You should go to the library somewhere where you have better uh, No, it's gonna be better lighting here. It's just too dark in there. They gotta see all my good stuff. Once I get all my once I get all my light kits in the house, then we can go anywhere. But tonight is just it's not bright enough in some of the rooms, right? You know what I'm saying? Hey Al, how are ya? So I am working on my sister's room, right? She's flying in from Canada. Um, on Friday, and I don't even have her bed put together yet. I have nothing done to the room other than a mattress on the floor, which, you know what, it is what it is, right? But no, I at least want to make the room nice and pretty and, you know, just comfortable, right? So ain't nothing like some company o coming over to help, like, light a fire under your butt, you know what I'm saying? Beverly, have your vlog on with cookbook collection. Oh, yes, absolutely. Andrea, how are you? And Claudia's on here too, hello. What day is it today, guys? Help me out. Today is Wednesday. Maybe it's a good day to do a live vlog. Everybody's on here. At least she has a mattress, yes. And there's carpet, too. So it's really you know nice and fluffy. Yeah, you know, you too. You gonna say hello? Hi. 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 Hey, Roxanne. So the carpet situation, um, we ripped carpet. up the... It's carpeted. <laughs> we, we ripped up the carpet in the living room. <laughs> I may or may not have sat on a nail. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of nails and a lot of tack strips and just a lot of flying pieces and trying to protect the floor underneath it, ripping up carpet, nasty stuff flying up out of it. Let me just tell you, right? Yeah, you don't even know him, right? Everybody says hello, Matt. He's gone over there. I think he's loading some stuff in from the van. We literally just got here. Um, so, um, yeah, so the carpet situation is we've taken it off in the living room and we're gonna work our way as we get settled here and continue to do it room by room, right? But that was the room that we wanted to, to like get up at least first. 
And then when you lift up all the other stuff, you can see it's just beautiful hardwood floors. So it's just waiting to get to. It's all protected. It's all good. The carpet's been cleaned, which is nice. But at the same time, eventually I'll get it switched out, right? Um, but so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep the carpet in the room right now. So this is gonna be my project, which I'm probably gonna start tonight, guys. True story. And I'll vlog it for tomorrow night from, for tomorrow night's vlog, so you can see the transformation. But I am going to just basically make this room take this bare, just clean room and turn it into something comfortable right for her. So um, right now it has like this pink, I don't know if it's pink metallic, rosy kind of uh, wallpaper on it, which wallpaper is coming back. Can you believe that? This is not the wallpaper I necessarily desire. But if it's one thing I learned from my mother is that you can paint wallpaper, right? Not everybody, sometimes I get messages like that. Can you paint wallpaper? Yes, you can paint wallpaper. Um, and if your wallpaper is on really nice, just paint over it, right? You can do that for an easy fix until you're ready to go down the road and actually deal with your removing it, maybe paying somebody to come in and take it all off, all that good stuff, right? Shaylin says she's been in her home for 22 years and yeah, still making changes. I just think that your home is like, it's a living thing. It truly is, right? And it changes with your taste. And so anyway, I am just going to enjoy just, you know, for me, for me, um, when I first gave you guys the tour of the house, I said, this is like the biggest project I've ever taken on. And so it's true because it's fun. I look all the spaces and I have so much space to fill, but I know that, you know what, I'm going to have fun junking and finding secondhand treasures and not having to pay a fortune, but looking to do it on a budget. So I'm going to show you my haul because I've been hunting for things on a dime. I was saying at the beginning that, yeah, you can pay a lot for, uh, for furniture or you can be wise and, uh, you know, you had that ugly wallpaper when you moved in. Yeah, I'm just going to paint right over it. I'll show you the color as well that I'm going to do. Um, I went and I got that all today and I'm going to do a satin. I'm not going to do chalky walls. I'm going to do a satin finish on, um, on the, right over the wallpaper. I'm going to vlog all that with my color and everything and I'll bring it all together for you. Hey, Kaylee, what time is it in your neck of the woods, girl? What time is it down there? All right, where should I start? So I don't know. I got a little bit of everything. Maybe I'll show you kind of like some of the room stuff first. All right. So so I got this this first little bit at Burlington, okay? Burlington, all right. So it's Burlington Coat Factory. So moving from Canada to the U.S. and as an adult, you just judge names. You know, we just judge things by what the names are, whatever, 10 past 1. Oh, you're a night owl, man. You're up late. You're up late, girl. You're here with friends. Um, so I always thought Burlington Coat Factory was a coat factory. And then one day, we got close enough. We were in a parking lot, and I could see through the windows. And I'm like, there is more than coats in there. Like, I can tell. Like, there is stuff that I like in the front windows. And then I went in, and it blew my mind. And I went back to Matt, and I'm like, how did you bring me here and not tell me about Burlington Coat Factory? Okay? I had to find out about Marshalls on my own. That was another store. Like, the name Marshalls, when I first moved here, it sounded masculine to me. I thought it was maybe like a men's suit, right? Hey, Lisa, Lisa's back in Montreal. Okay, Lisa, so you know like Mark's Work Warehouse, right? Manly clothes. So when I saw Marshalls when I moved to the US, I thought in my mind, manly clothes, it's Marshalls. No, no, it's not at all that, it's quite the opposite. Much like the Burlington Coat Factory, ain't no coat factory, okay? <laughs> so this is a PSA today for anybody out there who may have thought things that I thought today, I am here to free you from that prison, okay? You love Burlington. Yeah, yeah. Thank goodness I have friends with you to help me out now, right? Tell me places to go to that I never grew up, you know, knowing what they were. So this was a print, guys. I don't even know how much it was, but look how much I got it for, $9.99. So in this room, maybe I'll show you the color and everything. So I started telling you, the carpet's gonna stay in there. It's beige carpet, okay? It's got beige carpet. And um, I want to bring a little bit of gray in, but I also want it to be a warm gray. I always tell you guys on here that when you're decorating, bringing grays in your space, I've got so much woodwork in my space, right? So if I bring grays in without it being a grayish, which means a gray from a, I'm sorry, a, a brown from a gray family is a grayish. It's like gray and beige put together. That is the perfect shades to bring into your home. Like our smoky coal, for example, that's a brown gray, right? You didn't use something you painted. Oh, I got lots of spaces to fill. But I couldn't whip up a picture. I got lots to do. So I'm like, I saw this and I'm like, I can appreciate somebody else's art for $9.99. You know what I'm saying? And it had a little bling bling, right? Lisa 
Oh, Shaylin says, Lisa, not that far. You're just out of the bridge in Cornwall, Ontario. Oh, no way. Good grief, girls. You know what? Get it. Okay. I will put that all into perspective. Jess, how are you, my friend? I was just talking to Chrissy about you today. She may or may not let you know. I have to message you about that. So just to put it into perspective for uh, my Canadian girls on here, that I am three and a half hours from Toronto International Airport. I'm like two hours from the border, which is nothing. I feel like I moved back home again now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I feel good. Now I'm like so close to my, my two homes. Um, so this piece here I found, I loved it because you see how it has like the mint, the white, the blues, the blue grays, but it's got like, this is actually glitter right here on this like beautiful starfish. And of course, you know that I love me some ocean themed stuff. Hey Lisa, I'm glad you made it over here too. Grew up on the ocean, love ocean stuff and distress stuff and the weather stuff, all that good stuff. But it had a little bit of shine into it, right? Which is cool because you can find stuff like this and like make it into like rustic glam sorts of looks. So beige carpet. I'm doing grayish walls, white trim, and then this piece of art right here will be my basically my inspiration. So now I can pull everything else together around the room when I have one piece of artwork. And that's what I would tell you guys as well. Find a pillow that you love, a piece of artwork. Oh, thank you, Matt, that you love. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I need my smart water. He's so kind. Thank you. Um, and then work your way around it, right? So I see like blues and grays and greens and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, for $9.99, Burlington Coat Factory, not a coat factory, but they have amazing stuff in the um, in their, their background, right? So this is a color I'm using. It's a glint color. This is going to be for my walls. They're going to be satin finish. And I am going to go with this color that I found. And it, can you, oh, hopefully you can see it through YouTube. It is uh, it's a color called Dovetail, D-O-V-E-T-A-I-L, Dovetail Gray. And I can definitely tell that it's a grayish because if I fold out the entire family, um, this up here says scroll beige. This is a beige, but yet this is a gray. So it's a lot of times you can tell, like, is this going to be a colder gray or a warmer one if you see what it's mixed in with, right? That's why if you ever get your hands, like if you ever go to a, um, a paint counter, you see only these things on the actual um, shelving, right? But did you know that if you go up to them, they have what's called the fan deck, which shows the family of colors. And they're typically long and they open up, they spread open. And if you go to the very root, the very, the very base color that all these shades came from, if it's brown on the bottom, then you know it's going to be a warm gray, right, as an example, right? So you can kind of see, like, sometimes you pick up gray, gray and you're like, this feels like it's blue. But if you have the fan deck to look at and you put that little color swatch in that part where it should be and you went down on the list, you'd see that that color down at the bottom of that fan deck is probably very blue. But you're looking at the, the top swatch and you're like, I think I see blue in it. You probably are right. So different, you know, different colors have families. So this family is a beige gray and even down here, hair and gray, but it's beigey gray, right? So I think it's going to be cool. Shaylin, I use gray in my bathroom. You can put it. Yeah, so many. And that's what I loved about it because I thought if I'm going to paint this, I want it to be timeless because I've got a lot of things to do in this house. And so paint nor wallpaper, that's going to be my jam right now. I'm probably going to do that this evening, to be honest with you, when I'm done here with you guys. And I'll vlog it and do the transformation. So bye-bye pink and beige carpet. Um, and now we're going to do beige carpet gray gray. So it'll give it like a modern touch, a nice clean touch to it. If you're trying to sell a house, um, grays are perfect to put on the walls, right? Whites and very light grays and things like that. Because it just feels like such a fresh, clean slate. And remember, light colors make spaces feel bigger. So I don't want the room to feel smaller. I want it to feel nice and open and serene, right? And so when I show you that picture, think about the colors. You can see it, right? Gray, beige, serene. So that is what we're going to go for. And I have a piece of furniture that I have in the van with me. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint that probably in vintage white with our chalky style paint because I'm thinking like nice and fresh. So I've got this stand that I found and it has, it's not the real like Queen Anne or, um, you know, like French provincial, but it takes its modern design from that, right? And it's just a piece that I found for I think 15 or $20 and the legs are like that beautiful curved legs on it. And so honestly, I'm going to probably go at my garage tomorrow and I'm going to paint it in vintage white to freshen it up. So a picture in your mind, all that good stuff. And this is another thing that I found because I do like plants that I can't kill. I saw a meme the other day that said, hey plant, 
want to come over to my house and die later? <laughs> That's me. That's me. So look at this, right? Like I found this uh, in the clearance section of Burlington and only $7.99. And it's awesome because it just feels fresh and just, you know, airy and, and serene, right? And that's what I'm going for. So remember, all the colors that I just told you with the white trim and we've got some neutral, um, I got a neutral um, comforter set, but I think I'll put like, go tomorrow, maybe find a really fun color once I get everything put together. And then I can pick like one of the colors out of that starfish down here. Like whether I want to go to the mint side or more of the turquoise blue, sea kind of watery look. But was this a good find for $7.99? What do you think, right? Oh my goodness. Yeah, like even like this here with these painted white cabinets and like a little bit of greenery, like does that not say like, oh look, see in the mind. I didn't kill it. What does it mean? Let me just stick that back in. <laughs> we didn't see anything. <laughs> hey, ain't nothing a little bit of hot glue can't fix, okay? So that, those were good. I also found some other stuff here while I was on the hunt. Oh, let me show you the curtain that's going to go with that room. Okay, so I found these curtains as well. Let me do this while we're on that room sort of look, okay? So what do you think? I found these curtains at one. They're there right now. Hey, oh, you love beachy things with fishy. I, I just love serene. I love serenity. I love calming. It's going to be so nice. Um, and I found these curtains. They are currently right now at Walmart. I think they have them in like a burgundy kind of like print. But you know how I told you I love those rugs that have that faded print on it stuff? For They were $9. $9, $9 and change, right? $9.99 or something like that. For two panels. So this is what it's going to look like right there. And if you can see it, it's got that beautiful faded. But it's got grays. But it's also got kind of like creamy grays, grayages, and uh, white cream right here. Sounds good. That a run, what? got a run snowing in part of my yellow. Nancy, you will take care of it. I'll see you in a bit. So, yeah, I thought this would look really cool. What do you guys think with that picture? Can you see that with the picture? This would be the curtains, the picture, the white painted piece of furniture with it, right? That would be so fun. Ah, uh, thank you. Mary, I'm having fun uh, just finding things on a budget that will go with it. Now, there's a bathroom that adjoins that, that room. And I, when I was at Gabe's, if you saw my vlog on here, I went to Gabe's and I got a three-piece bathroom set, like shower curtain and um, two rugs as well. And I'll show you that tomorrow on the vlog. I hung that up already this week when I cleaned the bathroom and um, I got it all three pieces for $11.99, so that was good. And in that bathroom, so the neighbors don't watch you shower, I have these really cool, uh, same thing. It's actually the same set as this here, so it's gonna go into the room adjoining. So this is gonna be same set, except it's just this beautiful, what color do they call it? Uh, just like a cream kind of color, right? Neutral. So awesome. So that is gonna be for the bedroom and the bathroom that goes with it. So I thought that was cool. And then while I was at Walmart, I also found, is that what you call it? Yeah, I think you're right, Michelle. I also found this. Matt got me a dish drying rack for the kitchen, um, but it was no tray with it. So I went out and I got this here and I thought that would be kind of cool. These are at Walmart right now for $5 and they're marble. They're like that marble look, but you can see the, can the counters back here in the pantry are the same as in the kitchen. So I think it'll be nice and clean. Like look at that little things that you can do that doesn't cost you a fortune. So this is something else I got at Marshalls to go underneath the sink. They have guys, not Marsh, not Marshalls, I'm sorry, Bar Burlington, the coat factory, that's not a coat factory. Yeah, that one. So this giant rug, it's one of those washable ones that's really nice for the kitchen. So if you drop food, you can actually clean it and stuff and it's really nice and padded so you can stand on it. Like when, when Matt used to be a chef, I know that um, he used to stand on this sort of style because when you're standing for a long time, it just helps your back. But this was regularly $35 and I got it for $14.99. It's a premium cushion mat. Yeah, easy care, stain resist, resistance, skid resistance, resistant. And it's got a little bit of teal in it, which I loved. It's got that hardwood that will go with a lot of the wood in the house. And it says, family is the heart of the home. That's the stain that I ended up going with, but they had all kinds of them there. They had like black and white ones that kind of look like a chalkboard sort of look. Um, so yeah, go check out your Burlington. And they had them in two sizes. This is like two smaller rugs. So you could get them like a little bit smaller for $9.99, but I went a little bit longer for to put underneath my, um, my, my big bay window. You know what I'm saying? You are, you are so sweet, Jody. Thank you for being here. I appreciate that. I appreciate hanging out with friends and other gals and girlfriends. 
that like get it, you know, and realize that you can have a beautiful home, but you can be smart where you shop and find some good stuff, right, and pull it together. So what do you think? Yay, nay? Was this a win? Did you like that one? Or did it lay flat so it can kind of like get in the bag? This was something I also got at not Marshalls at Burlington for a dollar ninety nine. Do you see that? And this is honestly a sink mat. Again, this is when you become adult an adult. Thank you, Andrea. This is when you become an adult and you get excited over $1.99 sink mats. I'm pretty sure there's somebody hus somebody's husband in the background right now going, dear Lord, have mercy. The woman's excited over her sink mat. This is true, okay? Because it's the perfect size for my sink and I am excited. Now, I've never lived in a house that had a garbage disposal. I've only seen movies where things happen with arms and hands and garbage disposals. That makes me a little nervous. And so guess which side? <laughs> it's the perfect sink mat. Yes, it is. Um, so guess which side this is gonna go over, right? It's gonna go over the side of my sink that has the garbage disposal because I don't know if I really wanna use it. I've seen too many scary movies. I'm scared to even turn it on when I or stencil on it. <laughs> Polka dot stencil. Yes, you're so smart. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was a good one. Oh my gosh. When I used to paint um, kitchen cabinets and I go into homes and everybody's home is different. Um, you know, it's amazing how everybody just lives differently and they um, set up their homes different ways. And, you know, I used to enjoy it when I would go into to like a kitchen to paint a kitchen and somebody would, would say, hey, Sonia, we have Alexa, so if you want her to play any music for you, nobody's home, blast the music, do what you gotta do. Like, those were the best people to paint for. So they would bake me cookies, leave me brownies, and, and, you know, turn on Alexa and say, go to town. And so I would be there all day painting kitchen cabinets and be like, Alexa, you know, play Tiffany, I think we're alone now, <laughs> or whatever it was at that time, Pink, or, you know, Lady Gaga, or something like that. And it was so fun, but everybody lived differently. But I remember in the houses that there was a couple times um, in finding the lights to try to like make sure I could see all the parts of the cabinets that I was painting, because some kitchens are darker than others. I would hit a switch and it would turn on their garbage disposal. Some of them were loud, like it would scare me. There was a couple times I did that when, while the people were home when I was saying, okay, so just before you leave, let me just make sure I know where all the lights are. And like, I would turn one on and like literally jump out of my pants, right? Yes, that's exactly right, Gailene. If it doesn't work out as a sink mat, then I'm going to use it as a stencil. I love it. And it's got little grabby things on the bottom. So let's guard the garbage disposal. I really don't want to use it. I really don't. I just, I just, I don't know. It just bothers me. I'm worried I'm going to like miss an arm or something right there. Hey, Jesse, how are ya? You tell me. Do you like garbage disposals or are you like me and you feel like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I've seen movies. I know what goes down. <laughs> Scares me. So I got two new sets of drapes as well at Burlington for my um, for my living room. And I'm gonna put them up tomorrow. I told you that I'm trying to stick with anything that I bring into the space because it has so much woodwork and it's got beige carpet. I'm bringing in like my couch is gray and I'm bringing in some gray elements, but I gotta be careful make sure it's more grayish, okay? Cream with a little bit of a gray tint to it. You know what I'm saying? Hey Gwen, how are you, my friend? So I got these guys, I mean seriously, you know how much people pay for drapes? These are energy efficient, grommet curtains, room darkening, which is awesome. And look, I got them for $16.99 a set. So I grabbed two of them because I just kind of did my, my gut. So when I see them there um, and they're all hanging up, this is what I do. I just use my gut reaction because the more you think about it, the more numb you become. And your gut knows the right color. The longer you stand there, the more confused you get, right? It's like being in the in the paint swatch section. So just go in, get drill down on the colors you picked first, and walk away. And then come back again if you have to, right? You got it. You got it. And you could do so much stuff, right? Like you could pay a fortune if you really want to, but I would rather any money that I save is gonna like, you know, it's gonna. I can go out and create memories and actually eat and have whatever I want in terms of going for a movie and all that sort of stuff. So you kind of get to pick where you want your money to go. So I would rather the sport of thrift and bargain and discount shopping, it is the bee's knees, right? Oh, Matt really likes the library. I'm going to say tonight he's actually in there hanging art. Um, he has been collecting um, like art, 
like a certain kind that he likes, kind of like Edgar Allan Poe, but a very, very whimsical, I love it, very whimsical, weird, loose, big odd, go figure, right? Like odd, big eyed things, I'll take you guys in there, but uh, I'll show you what he's been working on in a second here. But so he's working in there, that's kind of like where he's been, he hung the TV for us the last day that we were here, so I finally have a TV, TV here now, which is nice. So anyway, it's coming together, but that's his favorite space. So these are gonna go up in the living room tomorrow. Do you see how it's kind of like cream, but they're also very light gray? That was a win-win. Me too, Shaylin. I don't even, when I swear, like I it, I just breeze right past because I know, I know that clearance is gonna be good, right? You know, you know as well as I do. And I don't think you can go wrong. When you go in places like, for me, it's Marshall's and definitely, um, def, definitely Burlington Coat Factory and of course my local Gabe's, if you're lucky enough to live this far north to have it, right? Look, this, I was like, what was in that bag? I forgot what it was. I even got a whole thing of pink Himalayan salt for $3.99. So I started, um, I'm like, is there really any difference in pink Himalayan salt? And so last year I started trying this because a lot of, in the keto world, a lot of people use the salt. And I thought when I saw it um, at, you can see it like, you see that typically at Marshall's even, stuff like that in their food section. And I find it's really good salt. Like, I don't know how, but it's, a, I don't know why or, how that works, but I feel like I can get a really nice taste. I love it. It's like really, really vivid. Is that I don't even know how to describe it, but it's really good. You got you, so you know, right? There is a difference. Yes. Oh, you're welcome. I love doing it, Roxanne. Yes, you have big lots. Big lots is oh, I love big lots. Yes, my friend. Big lots is on my list as well. I've gotten a lot of really pretty uh, plates and stuff there as well, and I even bought furniture there before. This is something that Matt, he's like, here, I'm going to grab this for you. He found this at, um, what store were we at? It was Burlington. Um, and he found this for $8.99 because he knows I'm a Harry Potter fan. And there we go. It's a, it's a Harry Potter mug. So he's like, here, I'm going to get this. So that was, that was what he contributed to the cart and was like, you need this. And I'm like, heck yeah. So let me see, what else was I going to show you that I got? I also found um, this rug. This was a rug that I found at Gabe's for $6.99. Love this color, right? This is going to be uh, for a rug in one of the bathrooms. I think that would be so pretty. I love this color. I am in love with this color. You like that mug? I love me, Harry Potter. And I'm trying to read through the whole collection right now. We just came back from Universal. I'm going to tell you one of my favorite... Oh, Tess, you are lucky. Holy moly, TJ Maxx is another awesome place, right? Um, but we got to go to Universal. It was my Universal Studios in Florida. It was my first time down there. And I was in love with what I call Harry Potter World, but you know, Diagon Alley. It was amazing. And I can't wait to go back. Before I went down there, I had heard of people who go down there and they go down to like once a quarter or they go down there every year or like whatever, but they keep going back and I'm like, why would you want to go back to an, an amusement park that much? And then after going down there, I realized like, it's not like any amusement park that I've ever been to. It is completely different. So yeah, right? So I think that was all of that. And then I'll show you two shirts that I found only because we're on a roll, right? So I was at Walmart today and uh, they put out some really nice stuff and I thought this was so cute. I get this cute little shirt right here for $7 and change. I just thought that was really, really cute. So I love that. Isn't that, yeah, I love that. I love the fact that other people bring things to life and it's just amazing. I don't know. I just, it really just feels like a world away from the real world. And then this was the second shirt I got as well. <laughs> you love this roll of mine. Me too. Got this one today. I think this one was $15. These are right now, they just put them out at Walmart. And yeah, $15.44. Tell me why where the 44 came from. Um, but it gives you, the, even, they even dress you with the necklace, which is a little feather necklace. And of course, then you have your shirt and then your, I just thought that would be so pretty with a, you know, a pair of blue shorts or something like that or um, blue pants, right? So anyway, that was my thrifty shopping for today. So when I'm not in my paint clothes, I can at least look half decent, right? So I pick my sister up at the airport on Friday. <laughs> It would be like, who's this lady who's hanging out here? Why won't she go home? So, anyhow. 
Hopefully I can make a good impression, even on my sister, so she'll be like, oh my god, you actually got regular clothes. It's really nice to see you in uh, clothes that's not paint related, you know? <laughs> Gaylene, it's so weird you're looking at summer clothes and we're looking at winter. Oh my gosh, Gaylene, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Like, I'm telling you. You either are the clearance bargain shopper or you're not. Because I look at stuff, and I will, Gwen. Uh, she doesn't know it yet, but I will. And, um, yeah, yeah, I don't even look at stuff. Like, if I look at stuff and I go, oh, my God, this is, like, too expensive. There's no way I'm paying that for that. You know what I mean? You know, you're, see, you fit in here just fine, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm like a walking billboard, though, because usually people will go, you know, I'm checking out at Walmart or something like that, and somebody will look at me at the cashier and go, so you must paint, do you? <laughs> Never touched a can of paint in my life, ever. So I am going to go paint. I know. It, honestly, I gotta, yeah, I, I just gotta be careful. That's why, I, that's why my paint clothes keep adding up with more paint because I truly try to keep myself like wearing the same clothes, wash them over and over and over again, but they end up, I'm pretty sure they can walk away on their own, but this is my favorite. I did a, on my vlog one time about this shirt about how I spilled so much paint all over it, but I still kept the shirt, and I swear, it's been washed so many times, but it could have stood up straight. But this, this, this sweater is one of my, like, go-to paint shirts. Can, oh, I was gonna show you that, yes! And for those of you who missed, before I go into the darker part of the house, I think the light should be on over there, but um, I'm gonna go with this color for the walls. So I'm gonna go up now, and I am going to probably start the process of edging out all the wallpaper around the white trim and the beige carpet, putting this grayish on the wall, and that'll be so nice. And then tomorrow I can get the bed frame built, and um, I'll work on getting the piece of dresser flipped to vintage white, and then, you know, put up my little decor pieces, my curtains, and make it still nice and fresh. So, here's to designing on a dime. Give this girl a cocktail. She is ready. All right, let me see here. Hopefully you guys don't fall here. Let me see if I can take you in. I don't know if Matt's in here right now or not, but let me see if I can take you in. I'll show you what he's working on. Hey, Matt, are you there? No, he must have went upstairs. All right, let me turn you around here. Figure out where do you turn you around to. All right, so this is what he's been working on right here. So when I tell you that um, he's been working, hey, Leslie, how are you? Come visit me, girl. You're not too far away in Ohio. So... This, this is Matt's collection, and he's, I, I love him. You know me, I love weird-eyed people. I don't know why, and he gets mad at me. But then he's like, do you like this? And I'm like, yeah, of course I do, right? So do you see over here? So this is like Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe, The Black Crow, and um, another version right there. You like it too? Yeah, right, you either get it, you know, honestly. I'm pretty sure if I had my mother and um, father over here, they'd be like, what in the world? Like what? What kind of um, what kind of paintings is that? Oh my goodness! You know their face is all disfigured. <laughs> uh, can I show you something? Th by the way, this one up before I show you this one right here. This monkey I bought off of eBay. Like I swear, oh my goodness, it might have been the beginnings of eBay. It was when I first moved to the U.S. It was a long time ago, and way before Junk Monkey. So me and Matt have always been Junk Monkey, not Junk Monkey, but Sock Monkey lovers, and that factored into when we named our business because. And this is still with me. I have I've tried to find this painter and I have no idea because at the time I didn't have a lot of money and I could not, I bought one of her paintings, but I want it more and I can't figure out who she is, but I would totally buy more um, if I could find her nowadays. But anyway, I, I love it. I love the glam monkey, the glam monkey. I can appreciate her art. And she sent me a, at the time that I bought it, she sent me a, a little um, note with it saying thank you for her art and how she was she was working on it and she appreciated that I appreciated it and I'm thinking I love the monkey so it was so cool proof that when you paint something there's always somebody out there I always say there's a sock for every foot and somebody will love your art and then this is the other one this is the Mona Lisa right here do you see her I love her I love her so much it's got it's got that dark shabby feel as well which I thought which I really really like right and then, so I've got lots of space for my books in here <clears throat> as we move everything all in there. I told you guys that I love Mary Higgins Clark. This guy over here is really cute, cute too, right? Isn't he cute? Aw, thank you, Michelle. 
everybody has their own style. I can't wait to get my um, studio up and running so I can do some more art. What do you guys think of this guy right here? I think he's pretty cool. I like it, right? This is a new lamp that we moved in here. It's, it's like Tiffany style, but of course it's not Tiffany. Let me turn that on. How cool is this? Do you see? I've never seen a lamp that has this like foot pedal thingy right here before. Never in my life have I ever seen one of those. But um, I really like that. I want to get like another one from for in here. So this is the curtains that came, of course, with the house. So we'll get to these eventually. That works. And this is my Harry Potter collection over here that I have been working on. So I think I'm missing. I, I need to find books. What is it? Books five. Somehow I managed to get two books six. But I think I thought I was getting a book five. I just bought this one the other day, The Cursed Child. This is apparently um, the one where Harry Potter is older and he has his own children. <gasps> Don't even tell me because I cannot wait. But I'm going to like read everything. So I've seen all the movies and um, this is the one that I'm working on right now and I'm reading my way through. So that is gonna be awesome. And guess what I picked up the other day? I went and uh, I was at Barnes and Nobles. Hey Roxanne, Aww, that thank you very much. <clears throat> I went to Barnes and Nobles and they had two. I would get one half off. And I'm like, Matt, we should totally do Birdie Bot's Beans. That would be a fun vlog. And of course, he's like, you are crazy. I'm like, no, let's do it. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before, but if you read on the back, let me see here. Some of the, okay, here they are on the side. They tell you like some of the weird ones. They're all weird, right? So it is, let me see if I can find it here. You bring it up close here. There's like good ones but then you also hit the bad ones and they're like things like booger grass vomit oh my gosh sausage you know so you never know what you're going to hit so apparently there's some really nasty tasting ones in there earwax <laughs> so I bought the two packs and I thought we'd do a vlog one night just throw them all into a bowl and hopefully Matt gets all the yucky ones and I get the stuff like blueberry and watermelon and then we can see his reaction wouldn't that be good <laughs> <laughs> this is a book that I bought this summer and um, I was up to, well this past summer, we went to Salem, Massachusetts and I went in and I, this is what my souvenir was that I, I got. Let me see if I can put it somewhere so I can show you guys. I just thought her paintings were so beautiful and again, I'm just, I just love like big eyed and so if you go through here, like it is just amazing. She has like, her art is definitely probably a little more whimsical dark, but I can appreciate it. Like I, I just thought it was so beautiful. Like, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? This is gorgeous right here. And so it talks about all of her paintings and you know, what's behind it. Some of them are bright, but they still have that. Like, do you see that? How would you describe that? That undertone? I know, that was so cool. Oh, I love the smell of a nice fresh book. book forever strange so anybody ever heard of this girl before I just thought it was so nice fun to look at right yes that's what Matt said you just wait till Halloween this year we will deck this place out and then this is another piece that he has as well right there I think that's that's an orange original I think maybe a water color and sketch or charcoal so yeah, he's been working on putting those up, and but it's coming together in here. This is this is another piece that will go up on the wall. This is the book I'm reading right now, Mary Higgins Clark. Anybody ever read that one? This is the one that I'm getting through right now. And then this is another piece of art that he has right here as well. So I think tomorrow he has to go, oh, I forgot to show you one more, hide in the corner. What do you guys think of this one there? Beverly, you're moving in. Well, I told you, Beverly, when you come over this summer, come over for a visit. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I, I just thought he's cool. Never mind his sharp teeth. You know what I'm saying? Matt bought these chairs um, during the Way Day, I think I said it right, the Way Day Wayf Wayfair, Way Day Wayfair sale. So they were like really ridiculously on sale. And did you guys, any of you guys do that? Where that's where I got the rug from as well. And like you had so many hours and they would reduce it. I don't know if they do it once a year or how many times, but it was like stuff was ridiculously priced cheap. And so we picked a few things. That's where we got our couch from. We got the chairs from. And um, actually this one here as well. I love this one here. I just need to get a light for it. Oh, cool. 
cool that is. I love me some stained glass. So that'll be pretty tomorrow. I'll go find a, um, a bulb for that one. But it's all coming together. There's all kinds of styrofoam on the floor. Finally got TV up. And then I'll put my, um, it's dark in there, but I'll put my curtains up and stuff tomorrow. That's one thing I want to do is just, you know, really, really um, lighten it up a little bit in there. I'm going to keep all this, right? I'm going to keep all this. So I'll come to the break room. And this is why he's like wondering why I'm filming in here. Because it is, it's brighter in here. Probably because everything is white. That's why most people now have like these like white studios. It's because, yes, it's white. All right. So I'm gonna go and upstairs, and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna hang on to this base so it doesn't fall over. I'm gonna go upstairs and work on my uh, paint job. And tomorrow night on the vlog, I will show you what I've been up to. And um, you can see the pink room transform into a serene space. It's gonna be amazing. This is actually, Debbie, um, part of the kitchen right here. This is like a butler's pantry. And then out into the garage, that's where my studio is going to be. So it's just, um, it's a heated garage, which is really nice. And it's just literally off this side of the house. So I don't even have to go outside, which is awesome. So here in Pennsylvania, if I work late, like I want to do lives with you guys later at night. Like right now, if I was still, you know, at my shop, it would be late leaving for me to go home. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have space in my other house to be able to have a studio. So this is why, this is my dream house, to be able to do everything under one roof, right? Hello, a step back in time. How are you doing? Hopefully the weather's good over your way. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna go get a room ready for my sister and I will see you guys here again tomorrow night. Go put your feet up, watch a good movie, go get yourself a drink, a snack, you know, lay back in bed and enjoy. <laughs> all right, well, all you guys take care and I'll see you again tomorrow, okay? Sound good?